Conversation is what this is all about. Communication is what this is all about. That's the goal of a public forum set for this weekend on the future relationship between the United States and the FSM. The cloud of uncertainty is a result of Resolution CR 19155, introduced in the FSM Congress last November by YAP Senator Isaac Figur and Chuck Senators Bonciano Nethan and Robson Romolo. Richard Bossi is originally from Chuk and is coordinating the event. For me, I uh, find it uh, an issue um, because I don't understand, basically. Yeah, I, I, I want to know uh, what is it all about and what's going to happen to our, for instance, our uh, passports. Would it be still honored or what's going to happen to our students? I work at Teach and High and my most fear is for our youths who are graduating, transitioning to college. Would they be still eligible for the financial aid or uh, the grants for college students? The resolution would terminate the amended Compact to Free Association with the United States. Bossi says officials from the FSM national government will be on Guam to hopefully break down what it all means. Somehow help us educate ourselves and help us also if uh, they could make us understand uh, the whole reason why they want us to terminate our uh, compact. And hopefully they all could also hear and see how many of us that we do not feel it's a right movie for the FSM. Joining the panel will be FSM President Peter Christian and FSM Attorney General Joseph Gallen, along with other FSM state representatives here on Guam. While no Guam leaders have confirmed their attendance yet, Speaker Judy Wampad has called the resolution, quote, problematic, whereas Senator Frank Bloss Jr. noted it could have a significant impact on our government. University of Guam Professor Ron McNinch, meanwhile, is helping coordinate the event. He says regardless of the resolution, the compacts need to be re-examined and Guam has to be part of the conversation. So we need to uh, show and demonstrate that these discussions are important. My own opinion, will the FSM ever uh, move away from the United States? No way. I, I don't think that that's feasible and I don't think it's something that people in the FSM really support. McNinj estimates about 8 to 10 percent of Guam's population is from the FSM. The forum is set for Saturday, February 20th from 12 noon to 3 p.m. at the University of Guam. For more information, call Richard Bossi at 483-2679. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.